Hey guys, welcome to Purpose My Way. I'm Shelly. Today we have a bunch of crowing going on. Sorry, we're outside again, so we got outside noises. Um, oh, I have a bunch of items here that I have together for the rustic, rusty, primitive collaboration that is going on. It is a huge playlist of wonderful crafters and YouTubers that have gotten together to bring you the rustiest, rustic, primitive decor pieces that they could find and show you their creative, just how their creative minds work. It's just amazing how creative these people are. And so I can't wait for you to check out the playlist. But first, we have some pieces here. I've got, I think uh, because this is a rusty, rustic, primitive collaboration, we're gonna do them all. We're gonna do all three. So these are gonna be quick though, as far as uh, these pieces here. What I wanna do is I have this wooden bowl. It's got some issues with the inside of it, but it was pretty at one time. It has butterflies on it. It's very pretty painted piece, but it's got some issues. So I'm gonna give it a sand, see if I can clean it up. And then it's gonna get painted black because I gotta put it in my booth and it's got to go with all the other stuff. So we're gonna start with black as an undercoat and then possibly some of these pieces are gonna get more of that. This is another piece. I just picked this one up thrifting, not thrifting, yard sailing, uh, not too long ago. So I have this piece. I've got this one. I do not remember where I got it. Uh, it might've been the free shack at my local dump. We have a little free area. This one I got at a local estate sale. And there are just a couple just a couple of candlesticks, very rustic and uh, just rough on the outside, which I absolutely love. So they're gonna get a spray paint of black and then distressed back because they're so rough. I think that's gonna come out so good. This one, we're gonna do a faux rusting technique with just some spray paint that I have, some texture paint. And we're gonna use that on there and give that a rusty look. So we're gonna, we're gonna do that with those. But first, I've wiped these all down and uh, the next thing that I need to do is sand them and then wipe them down again. And then uh, we're going to give them a spray paint of some sort, whether it be black or whether it be the textured paint. I'm not sure, but we're gonna do one or the other. So stick around, this is gonna be fun. gonna get a coat of black spray paint start with the bottoms we're even gonna do this one I am gonna rust it up full rust it but we're gonna start with the bottoms first see what we can do. So this is the stuff that I'm going to use. This is multicolor textured Rust-Oleum. The top is what it's supposed to look like. It's got a lot of texture in it. It looks rusty. And I've used this a lot. The problem with this is it gets clogged. It gets clogged up in here. So let's hope it doesn't do that. What I want to do is spray this pan so it looks rusty. Start spraying. The best the best thing to do is do thin coats. that's what it looks like one little thin coat I'll let that dry for a little bit and then I'll put another coat on it's best to do it that way 
because you don't want it to puddle up kind of like this is. It's just like spraying with spray paint. But it's got a very rusty look to it. I'm going to give this bowl two coats of the Fusion mineral paint in the color Woodwick. It's a beautiful taupey color, and I'm hoping this is gonna give a good primitive feel to this bowl. Let's take a quick minute and talk about Rustic Wednesday, but on Saturday collaboration that is going on right now. That's what this video is part of. It's all things rustic, rusty, and primitive. And it was the brainchild of Dawn at Shabby Meets Bling. I am so glad that she came up with this and I am so happy to be a part of this. Of course, those are my things, rusty, rustic, and primitive. So uh, I had to do one of each. I wanna invite you to check out the playlist down below and make sure that you check out all of the wonderful creators that have put out videos for this collaboration. They have worked really hard and I know that if you like this kind of content, you're gonna love what they come up with and I can't wait to watch them either. So make sure you check that playlist out down below and let's get on with the video. Once the two coats were dry, I took some sandpaper and sanded down my bowl around the edges and down in the middle to make it look worn and aged and like an old dough bowl would be. I then added some black wax and I wiped it back and I think this gave this the perfect aged look. These wooden candle holders are nice and dry and now I'm going to go over it with some sandpaper and hit those rough edges around it. You can see them a lot better now that it's painted and when you sand back you can just see all that wonderful just distressing all over it and makes it look aged. I have a friend named Chris and she does a lot of sewing and so I asked if she would make me some stuffed crows and I went to her booth that she has and I bought some of these flags. I thought a little Americana uh, decor in these candle holders would be great. So I thought I would add this flag in the middle and then some Spanish moss around the outside. taking the little crow that my friend made and I'm just adding a little bit of homespun material around his neck and then I'm going to add him to a skewer so that I can stick that down in beside the flag and have him sitting up. These little flags and crows are adorable and my friend Chris is so talented with what she can do sewing and making things and I really appreciate her making those for me. Once I got my little crow and flag uh, glued in there and put my Spanish moss on top, I'm gonna take a piece of burlap and cut it down so that it can sit on the front of my little pillar here, my little candle holder. And I'm going to glue that onto the front. I'll just fray it up just a little bit on the edges and make it look like it's just kind of coming apart. And we're gonna glue that on there and then we'll add a star and um, what did I use? I used jute twine and put a hole in the star, a little bit bigger hole and put my twine in and wrap that around. I did the exact same process in the second one. And now I have really cute Americana decor that I can put out for just certain seasons or for all year long.
So this little tote is the next project. Oh, this is a little tool tote. And I wanted to sand this all down so that I could stain it. I'm gonna stain it with, I'm gonna use antique wax watered down. That's what I usually use for stain. It's just much easier. Easier, I have it on hand and uh, it's easy to work with and you can clean it up pretty easily. So I am just gonna put it all over the box. I'm gonna do inside and out. The only part that I'm not going to stain is that handle. It's uh, like a chippy off-white color and I'm gonna leave that and I'm gonna play off those colors with my next thing that I'm gonna do with this. I have this stamp from IOD. It's a set and I think it's called Textures. And this one looks kind of like a chippy crackle paint and I wanna put this on the side of the box to make it look kind of like it. some of it has chipped off. So I just brush it all in a plate so that I could get it all covered. And then I'm gonna just take a little bit off using the paper towel there because I don't want it full strength. I want it to, some parts to be there and some parts not. I'm gonna go across the whole side of the box and when I'm done with this side, I will be doing the other side as well. So luckily I only had to stamp it or stamp it in the paint once and then I was able to work my way right down the whole thing just because I wanted it to be light and not too dark on this wood. Here's another stamp collection from IOD. This is called Mercantile, and it has two uh, different pa pages of stamps. So I really liked the um, different things that this has. It goes along with a lot of things that I use. So I really like this stamp set so much. Now I'm going to do the dry goods company first and I'm going to do that right in the middle of the box and I'm going to add that on there and it's already quite distressed on the stamp it's really really cool so I don't have to do a lot of sanding with this I will do a little bit to tone back some of the off-white color that I have on there but not much now the off-white color is on there to kind of play off from the handle and kind of bring it all together. The next part of the stamp is the number seven. I'm gonna use that down in the corner and that's what I'm gonna do with that one. I am using a stamp pad from scrapbooking.com. I'll leave a link down in the description. There is a discount code down there for you if you're interested in purchasing from them, so make sure that you check it out. Now I also use the 1879 from the stamp collection here in the same one mercantile. And now I'm taking my black wax and I'm going over my little, there's some nails that are on here and I thought it would look really cool to make it look like the nails have bled a little bit and made black marks around them and also kind of darken up those bright nails that are on there. So I put that on and then I did wipe them back a little bit. I took it outside and I sprayed it with my clear sealer and let that dry. And now I have my dark wax and I'm going over the side of the box to darken it up, to darken up and break up some of that crackle paint that I have on there, give it an aged look. And I'm just going to wipe that back and I love the old age look to this box. I think it really came out good. And I did the exact same thing to the other side.
I hope you guys enjoyed my rusty rustic primitive decor in part of this collaboration. Again, don't forget to check out that playlist down below. Let me know down in the comments if you had a favorite here. I'm thinking I really like the bowl and the tote that I did. Those are probably my two favorites. If you haven't already, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And hit that bell, that notification bell, so that you'll be notified anytime I upload a video. If you enjoyed this video, check out this next one on your screen. I know you're going to love it. Thanks for watching and have a great day.